Now moving on to China, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen landing in Beijing just moments ago for the trip that the Biden administration hopes will ease tensions with China. Gordon Chang is a senior fellow at the Gatestone Institute, and he joins us now. Gordon, always good to see you. So the secretary, she wants to ease the economic tensions with China. Do you foresee that happening anytime soon? And do you think there's going to be anything groundbreaking coming out of this meeting? Nothing groundbreaking because the administration has been down to trying to downplay expectations as they should. The problem here is that China has been engaged in belligerent and dangerous conduct. And if anyone should be trying to mend relations, it should be the Chinese, not us. So although you know the Biden administration says, well, we're responsible, we're trying to reestablish communication links, the Chinese see this as a vassal acknowledging their subordinate status by coming to the Grand Celestial Court. So this is just making them even more dangerous. It's feeding their already inflated sense of self-importance. We're doing things backwards. Yeah. You know, Gordon, there are a lot of people that are calling for the U.S. to decouple from China economically. The Treasury Secretary is not one of them. Listen to what she had to say a few weeks ago. Healthy economic competition, where both sides benefit, is only sustainable if this competition is fair. It would be disastrous for us to attempt to decouple from China. De-risk, yes. Decouple, absolutely not. What do you think about that comment from her? Is she right? She's absolutely wrong. We need to decouple. And the reason is that China declared a people's war on the United States. And although we're Americans and we believe we're entitled to be oblivious about what the Chinese say about us, that phrase carries great meaning. And, and the Chinese mean what they say. Um, we cannot allow ourselves to be dependent on a country that views us as an enemy. And by the way, you know, the Chinese, they hear that and they say, there's no difference between decoupling and de-risking. So whatever we mm. think, whatever distinctions we try to draw, the Chinese don't see it that way. Yeah, Gordon, uh, a little earlier you said this could, this could potentially be a dangerous situation. How dangerous are we talking here, especially when it comes to Americans? Well, on June 7th, uh, Henry Kissinger gave an interview um, to Bloomberg, and he said that war between the United States and China is, quote unquote, probable. So what we're talking about is um, a disaster of historic proportions unless we change our policies. Our policies sound good to the ear, but they're encouraging China to be even more hostile. So we've got to change course, as Kissinger said. Kissinger is always wrong, except for this time, um, because I think he's absolutely right. There is an, a danger. You know, we may say it's not imminent. You know, the Pentagon says war is not imminent. But we've got to remember that we've never seen in history a militant regime engage in a breakneck military buildup and not go to war. What is the economic situation like in China? They've been slow to recover from lockdowns. How dire is it over there? We can see all this surge of increase in Chinese migrants at our southern border. Um, basically, these are, those are middle class Chinese able to pay $35,000 a head to the smugglers. You know, China says it grew 4.5 percent in the first quarter of this year. I think it was more like one or two percent, maybe even zero. And we're seeing the Chinese economy head in one direction that's down, especially these continuing debt defaults, the plunge in property prices. Export uh, import declines, which show domestic demand, and even you know problems with exports. So yeah, this is this is a dire situation as you term it. You know, Gordon, do you see any chance at all in the future, whether it be near or far, of having a healthy economic relationship between China and America, at least under the Biden administration, or is this going to have to be a completely new set of of an administration to get to that point? Well, what has to change is a 100 percent view in the way that the American administrations view China. It's not just Biden. Um, but I don't see the administration changing those essential views. They, they want to, quote unquote, engage China. We've been trying to do that, especially since the Cold War. And, and it's produced disastrous results. So until the administration realizes that its policies are fundamentally wrong, we are going to go in the wrong direction, which means that people need to prepare for what Henry Kissinger talked about, yeah. which is war between the United yeah. States and China. And, you know, the scary part is that military communications between our two countries is still frozen, which seems like a pretty big deal. 
Well, certainly it is. Uh, that's the number one priority of the Biden administration is to reestablish mail-to-mail communications. That's not happening. Again, I, what I'd like to see is the United States saying to China, look, if you want to talk, sure, but you got to come to the United States because you're the ones causing the problems. We need to have an administration say that out loud to tell not only the Chinese but the rest of the world that we are going to defend ourselves, our friends, our allies, and indeed the international system. Mm -hmm. And we have an administration that won't willing to do that. Yeah. They well, just use this, this gauzy language, which is not helping things at all, because the Chinese know what they're doing. They know we're afraid to confront them. And so they become even worse. Yeah. And speaking of war, Yellen is going to be, uh, bring up the Ukraine war. A Biden official said, we routinely hear Chinese assurances that they will not deliver lethal assistance to Russia. We're holding them to that. We'll continue to watch. She's had, she just landed. She's over there right now. She's going to be there till Sunday the 9th. So we'll all be watching. Gordon, thank you so much. Thanks, Gordon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.